Hey, hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, I just want to say thank you to everybody who has been following me from the very beginning. And to those of you who are just finding this channel now, welcome. Glad to have you. Um, today is blog post number nine, and it is called Goal. It was uploaded onto WordPress.com on February 25th, 2022. Uh, you can find a link to my website for my blog in the description box. All right, let's begin with Goal. Hello and welcome. It's nice to see you. I'm so glad you could join us today. Today in sports, we have soccer. I played soccer for about six or seven years. I forget how old I was when I first started because I think things overlapped. I know when I stopped playing, that's easy to remember. So I played for about six years. There were a few years toward the end where I was playing soccer twice a year. I would play in the fall, which was the normal season, but then I would also play in the spring, which wasn't as popular. I had fun playing. I met some great girls along the way. I'm actually still friends with quite a few of them. I'm trying to think of how many teams I've been on over the course of the years I played. You know, if, if I think about it, I think I was ever only on two teams. We just had a rotation of coaches. If, if there are any girls out there that I played with that are reading this or listening to this, will you please remind me? I'm pretty sure I was only ever on two teams, but we just had a handful of different coaches. The very first team I was on, most of us girls stayed together, even when the team names changed. When I think about it, Things are running together. I think the team stayed together with, you know, some girls being added and some girls leaving. If the team stayed together, I think our team had two or three different names over the years. If my memory serves me correctly, the team went through at least four coaches. We had a really good team. I, I really miss playing with those girls. Oh, I forgot to mention above that those six years I played soccer with the team and those coaches, that was all recreational soccer. All of that soccer was done outside of school. I played soccer in school too. I was on the varsity team for two years, so it overlapped with my rec season. My second year on the varsity team, I was the goalie. I didn't really like it, as I wished I could have been out on the field, but I think I did a pretty good job being goalie. Actually, being on the varsity team really helped improve my soccer skills. I remember when it was time to start the rec season again, one of my teammates noticed that my skills had improved. They were impressed. Thank you, I did my best. During my sophomore year of high school, I was doing a lot of sports, especially in the fall. I started with tennis while still doing rec soccer. So I would show up late to soccer practice because of tennis matches. So I would change out of my tennis uniform into my soccer clothes, either in the car or on the bus, depending on where the tennis match was held. Once the school tennis season was over, I would go straight over to the school soccer season, all while still doing soccer recreationally. I was hardly ever home during that time. I would be at school from about 6.45 in the morning until about 4 o'clock in the afternoon. Then I'd have one of my many practices to go to, then I'd go home. I enjoyed playing soccer because I got to run around. Sure, I got to run around on the tennis court, but not as much because I was a doubles player. As crazy as it sounds, I love to run. I'm a runner. 
did I ever consider joining the cross country team? No. I think it was because it was during the same season as tennis and or soccer, so I couldn't do it. I know, being a goalie, I couldn't run around a lot because I was stuck in the box. But that's why I was happy when I got to play with my other team. I was able to be out there and run drills with the rest of my team. It has been so long since I've been out on a soccer field, let alone just kicking a ball around. I wonder if I still have any of my skills left. I'm almost afraid to try. I might fall flat on my face. Hey, but if I have a camera set up, I could send it in to America's Funniest Home Videos and see if I could win. We used to have a soccer field near where I used to live. I think it's gone now. It's probably gone for a while, so I don't know when they actually got rid of it. The field itself is still there, but it hasn't been used for soccer in a long time. With the soccer field being close to home, my dad, my brother, and I would walk down to it and run our own little practices. We would mostly practice corner kicks. Since it was during off time, the goals weren't set up, so my brother would be the one to chase after the ball and bring it back to me. I don't know how long we would be out there just practicing corner kicks. And, yes, I was practicing on my own time to improve. When standing in the corner, getting ready to kick the ball, I would actually picture my teammates, one in particular, running toward the goal and I would try and time the kick just right. I would try and time it so the kick would end up in the air, hooking toward the goal, when my teammate would come up the middle, jump up, and head it into the goal. I'm right-footed, so the right corner was always my strongest corner. If I ever needed to do a corner kick in the other corner, I would just try and do the opposite. I would kick it toward the goal, but then get it to hook back toward the front of the net, so again, my teammates can jump up and head the ball into the goal. Thinking about all the times I've been on the field and taking a shot on net, I always laugh. It seems that no matter where I was on the field, taking a shot on goal, I would somehow always end up hitting the friggin' crossbar. I don't know how the heck I did that. It baffles me. I take a shot on goal, I think it'll sink just under the crossbar, but it doesn't. When out on the field and it happens, it gets really frustrating. But off the field, I laugh about it. There was one game I remember. Well, at least I remember part of a game. I can't remember how old I was, but I remember where we were playing. It was on a school field near my house. I was dribbling down the field, not many people were around, and the goalie started to come at me. I needed to do something. Now, remember, I'm right-footed, so I ended up kicking the ball with my left. I just took a shot. What else was I going to do? I don't remember anybody else being around. I took the shot with my left foot. Goal! I was so surprised it rolled in. The kick wasn't very strong, as it was with my left foot, but it rolled right in. I don't remember what had happened or why the goalie missed it, but it went in. I think even the parents sitting on the sidelines were surprised too. My parents had this challenge for myself and my brother since he and I both played soccer at the same time. They set certain goals, no pun intended, for us. If we got an X number of assists and or X number of goals scored, we could go to a store and choose a toy or something as a reward. Now, I don't remember how many assists I had in that game where I scored with my left foot, but because I had scored a goal with my weaker foot, I was able to earn my reward. Do I remember what I got with that reward? No, not a clue. I do remember that it had to cost under a certain amount. Do I remember what that certain amount was? No. I had some great times and not so great times playing soccer. 
There have been a handful of times over the years since I stopped playing that I thought about coaching. Why did I never end up coaching? You know, that's a good question. I'm not entirely sure. I think coaching would be fun. But I don't know if I have the talent or the skills anymore to be able to coach. If anything, I'd like to grab a soccer ball, just go out and do penalty and corner kicks. I'd be happy just doing that. There may have been a few times while practicing my corner kicks when I would kick the ball and it would go towards the goal line. Goal! Thank you for taking time out of your day to join us. Hope to see you again soon.